Hi, today we're going to look at how we wash the sand. The tools we need are really simple. We have a shovel, any shovel will do. We have rubber gloves, safety first. We have our media, or our sand that has been prepared already. We have a jar to do the jar test. If you don't have a jar, you can take a water bottle, cut the top off, a clear water bottle, and you can use that. We need clear water, as clear as we possibly can find, and an empty, clean bucket. So we pour about between a third and a half a bucket of water, the clear water, into that bucket. And then we'll take some sand, shovel full, and we pour it in there. So you see the murky water, that dark water? That's what we're trying to wash off of the sand. So we get the sand moving. So we swirl it around as fast as we can. We make sure that it's all suspended in there. And then we're going to decant, which means that we just pour the water off slowly. And I'll demonstrate that now. We'll pour that water off slowly. Some sand may come out. That's fine. And there you go. That's wash number one. Now we're gonna do a jar test. What we do is we take our jar, we take a small sample of the material, you know, it might be uh, that much. Okay, we put in that much in there. Then we take our clear water, we pour that in. And again, the quantity is not as important as the end result. So now I'm going to shake this up. And what I want to do is I want to see how murky that water is that's left. And so I'm looking at the water and I want to see the suspended particles fall within four seconds. So I want to see that clear up within four seconds. And in this case, Four seconds has already passed and it's not clear. So that means I have to wash it again. So I will wash it again. Now that's four. I think it's ready, but I'll have to do a jar test just to make sure. I've washed it four times and now I want to see what, uh, what the jar test tells me. So I take a sample, take some in there, got it in there, some clear water, pour that in there, shake it up. And remember what I said before, I'm, I'm looking for it to settle in about four seconds. So I'm shaking, and now we look at the clear water. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. You see how it's all settled? It's settled in about four seconds. And I also try to look to see that I can see the actual surface of the sand, okay? And, uh, and try to see across the surface of the sand. But right now, um, I think I gotta wash it one more time. Now this is wash number five. We're hoping that this will be the last one with this type of media. Now you gotta remember that every media is different. Everybody's technique is different. So because I'm saying five times doesn't mean that that's how many times you'll wash it. And so let's see what this looks like. See how much clearer that is? We decant and we'll do another jar test. I've washed it five times. Now I'm gonna do another jar test. So I shake it up and remember what I'm looking for is for the settling to occur within four seconds and that I can see the surface of the sand across the surface of the sand. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, it's settled out and I can see 
the surface of the sand should be within range. So five washes. That's how much it takes me to do this material. Just remember, everybody does this differently. The material that we get is different. So use the jar test to help steer you in the right direction. Thanks for being with us today.